Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing the Legendary Ireland difficulty version of Better One of the Mod. It is episode number 3 of uh, the liberation of West Africa. Time to finish the good deed. We know there is a tower up here. And now it is just a matter of getting there. Very nice. Is there a second tower? Really? Okay. Well, we can always move down again. Moving up here, then going to here to finish the tower. In the meantime, let's find out where the last pack is hiding. So we still got Ghost Walker running from last turn. Moving over here. I think we, uh, the guys on the rooftop are more than enough to deal uh, with the one tower. We're just dropping out of line of sight for the other one for now. And Renvin, let's put him here. Probably need to wait for run and gun to be back. Roby is the only one who has taken damage uh, the entire run. And that was due to an explosion. Very unfortunate. Getting our sniper back on top of the roof. And that's the end of this turn. There's definitely one more pack at least. That's why it wouldn't say alien activities. Towers don't produce any alien activity. Let's see if there's a pack back here. Answers no. For some weird reason, though, uh, this piece of full cover prevents us from actually taking proper shots. I'm on it. Okay, over here would be a better place for a shot, which means we're setting our weapon and we're simply moving in and out with our operative just like that essentially denying the tower um, line of sight on its turn Ok, 
Okay, let's move up. Next turn we're going to open the door. Moving on target location. Ready to go. Affirmative, covering now. What's over for that? Moving to Overwatch. Okay, Roby can move up here. Still don't know where the last pick is. Probably within that house, I would guess. We should have used the ghost in order to scout. Oh, there is the last pack. Mutan, Mutan, Berserk, Mutan, and Centurion. Okay, that's a beefy pack. Good. The Berserk takes a lot of the overwood shots. Which is great. We almost killed it just by overwatch. Well, look at that. Okay, we got our pack. Oh, the tower has SWAT side. Well, well, well. That is a long war feature. Okay, well, I would say let's start with uh, some of uh, these comrades here. Double tapping. It's a nice little hit. Yeah, we don't uh, want to take 90% shots. Good, Berserk down. Very nice. Come on, focus. I was about to say exactly that. Zirkim, what the hell is going on? Good. Um, how can we fling the guy up here? We do not yet have run and gun, which absolutely sucks because we could have definitely used it. Moving up with Roby, we're probably going to suppress the guys downstairs. Yeah, I think we're going for area suppression, that makes sense. Steadying the sniper's weapon. Only 40% chance to hit. That's not good enough. We could sacrifice the... You know what? 
let's do that. It's going to sacrifice the ghost. We will see them again. I have sight beyond vision. Oh, nice! And the a ghost counts as uh, someone who's killed, <laughs> which means everyone uh, gets a bonus to their attack. Yeah. Bad luck for you, buddy. <laughs> Alright, Implaceable, Untouchable, moving up. Fortifying ourselves. Yeah, I don't want to go too close because uh, that would mean he has a chance of just attacking and killing us. We can't attack them in melee because they do have retaliation. But what we can do is we can get rid of the tower here. Simply parrying. Moving up here, freeing up uh, his spot for a run and gun, Harbringer, who essentially moves over here. And is very much able to flank the mutant. Nice, he's shredded. And down. Okay, moving just a little bit further out of line of sight here. We are suppressing. What, what's the chance of hitting him? 100%. What's the chance of chain shotting him at 100%? Why am I even thinking about suppressing him? I think you see this. That's how we roll. So, just in case I've missed something, we're going to be ready for an income. So we know there is a tower left over, but that really shouldn't be a problem. But see, there is also another pack, which ironically just, I don't know, spawned out of nowhere apparently. Centurion, Centurion, Mutant, and Viper. Well, I am going to be honest, I did not expect that to happen. And we have no one on that flank. Hmm. Gently moving over. It's probably not over yet. 
But these guys are really, really far away. I'm wondering though that our sniper cannot see a single one of them. Not even here. Okay, so, hmm. Good question, Saiken. How are you going to solve that? Seems as if everyone is super far away. You only really have Jordan Fury here. As you command. Moving up. We're not even getting remotely close to where we would need to be. need to deal with some sort of overwatches here. I don't see an easy way of of really solving that uh, situation. The flank came totally uh, as a surprise for me. Copy that. Moving over so that we can run and gun next turn. Roby moves over. We could move to here. That would allow us to take a uh, shot, but unfortunately we can't do that. Because we can't use the sniper once we have moved. Nasty is moving up. Going to use him as a soldier next turn, as a frontline soldier. We gotta deal with these guys. I know there's another mutant down there. All right, inverting our position. Maybe that will make him targetable by our sniper. Good, let's see. Yeah, that worked like a charm. Come on. Let's kill him. Target neutralized. Good job steadying our weapon. Going in for the Viper, still got momentum, but I think what we're going to do is we are actually going to give him a teamwork, okay? So that means we do have parry. Then we're going to give over a teamwork. To finish that Viper. Finally get our focus back up and we put in a second parry. I go. I am at your service. The target is not. Dark Tower Noxus moves over as well. A lot of double movements. And just 
for security reasons. That's also a protocol fury. Makes him harder to be hit. There are two more mutants left over, if I'm not mistaken. Well, he moves up, but holy moly, maybe that's the last one of them. All right, that's one hit. That's the second one. And we are steadying our weapon. I knew there was one more. Time to ghost walk. As you order, Commander. Nothing. Not a single enemy down there. That's highly suspicious. I am pretty sure there is another one down there. Is it clear? I guess that'll be okay. Okay, I'll go. Essentially putting everyone into full cover. Let's hunker down, just in case he is visiting us on top here, off on the rooftop. Lots of Overwatch. If whatever it is moves, we should be able to to kill it. Well, luckily we have hunkered down. Unfortunately, the guy still was able to move up to us. Time for a dead eye. Twenty-four points of damage. Well done. Positive confirmation. And that's it. I think we killed like 50, 55. Ah, almost flawless. At the end we took a few minor hits that were not necessary. Well, 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 and we're back. So, did we get any promotions? Oh yeah, we got one. Dragonova got promoted to Tech Sergeant. I like the additional Claymore. We're definitely taking that one. I like the Armor Piercing. That's good as well. Blood Trail certainly is good. The Precision Shot is also not bad for her because she's flanking very often. Probably going to save some points for Bring It On because she can see a lot of enemies or for Lone Wolf, which is also not bad. Oh no, we're going to go for Death Dealer. Critical shots against flanked targets while in shadow will deal double critical damage. Uh, that only means we essentially need to use Bring It On and uh, that one here with almost 100% chance for critical hits and that then again means 
uh, we are dishing out immense amounts of critical damage. Banish next turn, uh, next uh, rank will also be good. Four days of wounded, that's fine. We got a promotion for Edgar Alien, which is great. Uh, rescue protocol isn't bad. Uh, or grant a movement action to an ally. Uh, that's not not too bad, but I think we're going to go for full override to turn, uh, permanent control and potentially acquire mechs for the resistance. Uh, it's basically a mind control and although rescue protocol is good, it's not as good as the other uh, ones and if we give him a high enough hacking score, that here will be a very very powerful tool. Run and gun certainly good for him, rupture also pretty good. He really has very nice abilities. Um, Roby will take rapid fire, there's absolutely no question about it. Given that Rapid Fire still doesn't have a cooldown, we will need to uh, respec him. I want Demolition to get rid of uh, mm, of cover. It's pretty damn good. Um, yeah, and essentially Rapid Fire is the better version of Chain Shot, which we do not need anymore. Sentinel will help us with our suppression. So that's great. He's seldom a lone wolf, so we're not going to spec into that. Rather Guardian and Sentinel, and maybe Aggression. We got a shit ton of loot, and a lot of good corpses to, uh, to render. So we wanted to Respec Roby as a gunner. Did we want to respec anyone else? Probably not. So once Roby is ready, we can respec him as a gunner. Yeah, he's currently sick, so in the sick base, so we can't do that right now. Um, and to be honest, since the mission was so flawless and pretty straightforward, I think I'm going to do the... Uh, thank you for the alloys, that's great. And thanks a lot for all of the support now. It's time to create supplies. So we're putting another engineer in here. Um, probably the one from Proving Ground because we currently have no project in Proving Ground. Meaning we're producing 450 per month. That is crazy. So on, since there are no further um, missions to be had in South Africa, might as well go for that mission. Currently it's swarming. We could reduce it if we're just continuing to, uh, to wait 5 more percent, which I'm willing to do. And of course, there is a new target. Uh, we definitely want to have that engineer. Setting course for Chile. Let me see whom I can feel. Good, that was a pretty fast uh, decision. We need to probably boost uh, this one here up to 90%. That still will leave us with uh, around four to five packs, but we do have four soldiers and I think we can take that. Uh, we also just need to free him. The baseline activity is so low that uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Relatively experienced soldiers as well that we're uh, putting on the mission, so I'm fairly confident that that is going to work out. Got enough intel and we need another engineer 
for sure. Great, we completed training. Oh, let's shortly see. Hmm, well, might need to get a couple more recruits. One, two, three. Still leaving enough money up because soon we're going to have coil guns researched and that'll cost a lot of money. So I think the consensus was we wanted to have a few more I oh know we we got the technician gunner specialist sharpshooter Got a shinobi here. Almost looks like another specialist. But um, let's double check the stats of our soldiers real quick. Anyone with incredibly high to ha hack rating? The answer is no. Might want to take him because he has such a low um aim and as a specialist you really don't need a lot of aim so ibrahim becomes a specialist good two more percent and then we're ready to infiltrate or ready to go with the one more person there we go we're ready to go down here which is now 39 as a baseline easy enough okay and that's going to happen in our next episode guys if you enjoyed the content and if you are as psyched as i am about going for another liberation which would finally liberate the entire continent of Africa, then please hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Thank you and take good care. Bye-bye.